I've made lots of programs in Pakistan and I'm always interested in counterculture. But this time around, the story was way more complicated than I originally thought it would be. There's a clash going on, not just as you might expect between transgender people and the establishment, but between the old and new God. So this is a story about gender and it's also about the generation gap. I had a lot of fun making it. So I hope you enjoy it. This is Inside Transgender Pakistan. Hello and welcome to Assignment on the BBC World Service. I'm Mubin Azar and I'm in Pakistan exploring the shifting world of gender identity. Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much. Today is a Trans Visibility Day. In this university auditorium, Kami Chowdhury takes the stage. She's a transgender woman, and this is Transgender Visibility Day. Gender is in your head, and sex is between in your legs. I'm a transgender woman. That's my right. This is Karachi, a city where societal norms are fiercely prescriptive, and where standing out can get you killed. Such campaigning might seem brave, brazen even, but to many in Pakistan, Gender fluidity is nothing new. For centuries, Pakistani society has had its own answer for people who don't define their sex as either male or female. But that's now being challenged by people like Gami. I've set out to discover how and if the modern trans rights movement fits with an ancient cornerstone of Pakistani society, what the locals call Khawaja Sera, or the third gender. I always take care of my hair. Last night, a friend of mine, she crushed the onion and take water from it, and I just apply on my hair and massage, and I get good massage on my head. Kami's rose petal lips and slick black hair are photo shoot ready. She's striking and has an entirely feminine frame, complete with newly emerging breasts. As I meet her in her humble two-bedroom apartment, Kami has the persona of a one-woman party. Hi, this is me, Kami Chaudhary, and I am 27 year old and I was born in Karachi, raised in Karachi, basically I love Karachi because Karachi is all about love. I always say Kami has always been a celebration, darling. Do celebrate me, otherwise go to your home, okay? <laughs> you know, I always see you pop up on social media and you're in a different continent, a different city. First time I was traveling in Bangkok for some human high-level meeting after Bangkok. Like, I got some scholarship from Melbourne, South Africa, Copenhagen Pride in 2015, and <laughs> I traveled Malmo as well. Last year, I mean, I was traveling to Amsterdam, like, in, the, in Qatar airport, and a guy come from the door, and he, he was an Indian guy. He's saying, hi, ah, you are a Kami. I was like, yes, you're the first Pakistani trans woman. Yes, I say, okay, he say, I'm your fan, and I, I just want to upgrade your ticket from economy to a business. Business club was like, darling, really? Is this is this happening? Because this this kind of change makes you feel very proud. Do you think it's important for you personally to kind of push the boundaries? Yes, because we are educated enough. We have to do something like other people are like doing in Pakistan nowadays. Like so many people from like other cities, they are backbiting. They are writing about me, and I was like, okay, darling, first do what I did. In the past, first be like a Kami, then talk about me. Why do you think they see you as a threat, or why do they need to write about you? Because because I am very public, and people are always talking about Kami and that kind of like celebrity status. It's it's come from my God, what I believe. I already got support. My mother supports me, and after that, my boyfriend supports me, and after that, my all the mentors and my friends support me. And nowadays, like you see, like. Kami don't need anything. Kami is all about Kami. So. <laughs> I've known Kami for a few years and every time I come to Karachi, her celebrity status has gone up a few notches. Most recently, she was labelled Pakistan's first transgender supermodel by BuzzFeed and The Guardian. It's an enticing, click-worthy title, but it overlooks the fact that there's already an established culture of gender fluidity in Pakistan 
Gami stands out because she identifies as transgender, not as Khawaja Sera or third gender as is accepted here. It might seem like a small distinction, but its impact is huge. The term transgender refers to people whose gender identity differs from their birth sex. So a transgender woman is a woman who was born with male genitalia. But in Pakistan, there are more established, more complicated gender identities. The Hawaja Sera are an established part of South Asian culture. Also referred to as Hijra or Khusra, the community includes intersex people, eunuchs, and those who identify as neither man nor woman. The Khawaja Sera are present in every Pakistani town and city, predating the 70 years this nation has existed. During the Mughal era, the Khawaja Sera were given pride of place in the royal court. This period is remembered fondly in South Asian cinema, in films like Mughle Azam and Joda Akbar. The latter features a Khawaja Sera as a respected royal advisor. But modern reality is much less romantic. Bindi Arana is the grand matriarch of the Khawaja Sera community in Karachi. So revered, she stood in the provincial election in 2013. She looks like a traditional Pakistani mother, complete with a chiffon scarf draped over her head and a little faded red lipstick. She tells me about her fight for respect. A good friend of mine had a heart attack. I put her in a taxi and took her to hospital, but she died on the way. I brought her back and spoke to her parents about where should I take the dead body. When I got to the mortuary, the staff were laughing. Huh? One of your khwaja sara are dead? They were laughing. I said, when someone dies, your mother, your brother or your child, do you laugh like this? Are you happy like this? They all went quiet. That day I thought these people don't even see us as human. No one listened to us. When I decided to stand in the election, these people were terrified. I fought the election because no one knows the pain we go through. In all honesty, I knew I could not win the election. The day I got my name on the ballot paper is the day I won. So you stood to make a point more than anything else? I said if I win, the rubbish in the streets will be cleared, the gutters will be cleaned. I will make a community center for Khwaja Sara men, women and children, so they can learn a skill and make a living rather than get into robbing people and drugs. If these things end, I have won. Because we people don't have our own children, we create our own families. People become chelas or daughters. The Guru Chela system is like a tribe. You can think of the Guru as the father, you can think of the Chela as the son. Whatever is earned, he will give a small amount to his Guru. Some people have eight or ten Chelas. With God's grace, I have 50. 50? This is a very personal question, but if you've got 50 chelas, does that mean you're rich? Are you rich? No, 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 no. You don't understand. I don't take anything from them because my guru took nothing from me. He supported me. He stopped me from doing bad things. Can I meet some of your chelas? Uh-huh. A few days later, Bindia invites me to a party. I arrive just after a power cut. The entire area, cobbled narrow lanes and seemingly useless power cables, is in darkness. I can hear the Khawaja Sera singing before I even enter the house. This community has traditionally made a living from dancing and singing. And tonight's party is all about performance. 
मेरा नाम समरीन है समरीन नाज और माय नेम इज समरीन समरीन नाज टुडे इज माय बर्थडे सो वी आर ऑल सेलिब्रेटिंग Sambreen, Bindia and the other Khawaja Seras talk me through the intricate details of their sparkly outfits and playfully ask if I've ever been to a party like this before. Soon attention turns to family. Guru like uh, mom dad. Guru is like mom and dad. They are our parents. Chela is like a child, a student, apprentice. Acha, so there's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. There's 8 of you in here. Do all eight of you have a guru? Yes. Guru, हमारे लिए इसलिए जरूरी. The guru is crucial to us because if you have a dispute or a problem, she will listen and mediate. We say, if you don't have a guru, you have nothing. हमारे में जिसका गुरु नहीं है उसका कुछ भी नहीं. It sounds like there's a social support network, but is there a, a financial aspect? देखें पैसा तो जिंदगी के लिए हर मोड़ पे हर मकान जरूरी. Look, you need money for everything in life. I bet you give money to your parents. Surely, it's normal. That's why you raise chelas for some comfort and support in your old age. It's obvious everyone needs financial support. I've met people in Karachi that say we are not Khawaja Sera, we are transgender women, so we don't need a guru. How do you feel about that? Aurat wo kabhi bhi nahi ban sakte. They can't ever be women. They can't give birth to a child. If they say they don't accept gurus, then they are not from amongst us. Wo fake hain. उनका कोई पहचान नहीं जिनका गुरु नहीं उनकी कोई पहचान नहीं दे आर फेक इफ दे डोंट हैव अ गुरु वी डोंट रिकॉग्नाइज देम दे आर ब्लैक शीप आई डोंट नो हु दे आर और ऐसे लोगों का तो कोई पता पता नहीं होता कि वो कहां यू डोंट नो हु दीस पीपल आर और हु दे बिलोंग टू दे कुड बी यूज्ड एज टेररिस्ट्स दे माइट एज़ वेल बी इन द तालिबान दीस पीपल हु आर गिविंग आवर फील्ड अ बैड नेम एंड दीस पीपल हु से दे आर ट्रांसजेंडर दैट कांसेप्ट इज जस्ट रॉन्ग they can never be women even if they change their bodies they can't change what allah has made and put on earth when you say it's wrong is it wrong you mean culturally or do you mean religiously or or both ye islam mein bhi galat hai agar aap kehte hain ki main it's wrong in islam if god has not made you a woman how can you be a woman we are not women we are what allah has made have as much surgery as you want you can't change that ab jo matlab bachcha bole ke mera baap hi nahi hai to aap usko kya kahenge if a child says he doesn't have a father what will you call them in our system you will call them a bastard do you think the system of khawaja seras and the system of gurus and chelas will ever become outdated ye dil ke rishton se bana hua hai it's all about relationship of heart so it can never end since the world was created we have been here aur pakistan hindustan since pakistan and india have existed since the time of mughal e azam we have been here every country has a culture and laws there are boundaries you must work within these boundaries okay The third gender culture and the familial system it offers grants Khawaja Seras a degree of protection much needed when ways of making money are limited and stigmatized. Acha ye bhi aap hain. Ha ye wali. Akhtar who I met at the party didn't speak up when I asked about the benefits of the Guru Chela system. Instead she invites me to her home in Urangi a rough part of the city. that most Karachiites steer clear of. Her face is drenched in sweat from the mid-afternoon sun, mixed with rouge and a thick powder base. Akhtar is excitable and brings out a photo album. She shows me pictures from the 80s. She's dancing and posing at exclusive Karachi parties. But it's clear that now Akhtar is struggling with life as an older Khawaja Sera. हर चीज की एक उम्र होती है फिर दाम मिलता है ना एवरीथिंग हैज एन एज दैट्स व्हेन यू गेट योर ड्यू व्हेन यू आर ओल्डर यू विल गेट वन क्वार्टर हाउ डू यू मेक योर मनी पहले तो लोग हमें बुलाने आते थे घरों में इन द ओल्ड डेज पीपल यूज्ड टू कॉल अस फॉर वेडिंग्स बर्थ्स बर्थडे पार्टीज बट थिंग्स हैव चेंज्ड नो वन कॉल्स मी एनीमोर दीस डेज पीपल शट देयर डोर्स Now I stand on the road at night. I get ready and stand there. There are bad people at night with wives and children, but they have a habit of sin. You have to make money, whatever state you're in. 
Is the majority of your income now from sex work? We say, give me 500 or 1,000, but they don't want to. So they'll offer me 50 or 100. Can you survive on that much money? That's not enough money for one meal. What can I do then? One night, I was standing there and a man called me over. But he called me with love. He said, you seem nice. Sit with me. Let's make love. I thought, okay, sure. Then he took me out to the jungle and did what he wanted. He beat me. He ripped my clothes. He left me naked in the night and took my money. My leg was broken. I was scared. My life could have ended. No one would have known. Is there any system in place that offers protection? You know, the, the Guru Chela system or, or the police or the authorities? There is no help at all. There is no one to listen to people like me. Lots of people talk big, but we are fallen people. Bindya Rana is our president. She's my guru. I love her. She's my life. But no one even listens to her. So who will listen to me? As Akhtar points out, the Guru Chella system sometimes fails to offer protection from the most hostile sections of society. What then if this support network, flawed as it is, is out of your reach? If you identify not as a Khawaja Sera, but as a transgender man. I'm really good, thank you. Can I come in? The Punjabi city of Lahore is now home to Mani, one of Pakistan's few openly transgender men. Three years ago, she became he. This room as a store, and in winters it converted into a sitting area. Mani now lives with his girlfriend, Razia, in a cosy flat in a nice part of the city. So it's, it's a... Mani is all big smiles, bear hugs and pats on the back. He's also very clearly in love. She's a perfect girl. She is a married material woman. So I can't see my life without her. He enjoys telling his story. It has all the twists and turns of a Pakistani soap opera. It took me so long to come in front of my family. So one day I decided to talk to my sister. So I called her and I said, okay, I don't think so, I'm a woman, I feel like a man. So the, it's okay, it's happened, go to some psychiatrist, we'll talk later. So we waited for the few months and we decided to run away. So we escaped from the Karachi. You just decided yeah. it was time to go? Yeah, okay. We ran away from Karachi and came to Lahore and one of my friends. And the same day, uh, my... Two brother-in-law show, showed up at my friend's place. So they'd come all the way from Karachi? From Karachi. It oh. sounds quite stressful. Was it, stre- it, it was, it was. Uh, tears and loudness, screamings and all. So then we decided to go back with them. So it was uh, 3.30 or 4 a.m. They booked the flight and we went back to Karachi. Despite familial pressure... Mani and Razia continued to see each other. Just a few weeks later, they decided once more to leave their homes. I asked my dad that I have an opportunity in Lahore, so I want to go to Lahore. So he said, you again started. If you go to Lahore, I will not talk to you ever in my life. And uh, I packed my bag and I left. Have you got any relationship with your father? Uh, no. No. How long have you both lived here? Almost three years now. We are uh, living together. But, uh, like, for society, there are two sisters living together. They think you're two sisters? Yeah, living together. But even, if you don't mind me saying, when I met you, you you look, I would say, you're a trans man. Hmm. Your whole demeanor, Hmm. you sit like a a man in Pakistani culture would sit. Hmm. You're wearing T-shirts and jogging bottoms. Hmm. You've got short hair. Hmm. So Urdu is such a gender-specific language. Hmm. Do people approach you as, as baya, as brother, hmm. or as sister? How do they approach you? 
सो पीपल हु नो मी लाइक सम दुकान सम शॉप मैन दे कॉल मी बाजी ना एंड आई एम फाइन विद इट बिकॉज आई स्टो को यू सिस्ट या बिकॉज आई डोंट वांट टू पुट माय सेल्फ इन सम वियर्ड सिचुएशन सो बाय वियर्ड सिचुएशन यू मीन यू डोंट नीड टू असर्ट योरसेल्फ सो मच बिकॉज इट इट कुड हैव रिपरकशंस बट अ पर्सन हु अ मीटिंग मी फर्स्ट टाइम फॉर देम आई एम अ मैन सो इट्स फाइन हैव यू मेड द डिसीजन टू टू मूव फॉरवर्ड with your transition hmm. yes it's been uh, more than a year i'm on hormones i recently had my top surgery so, so you've had your breast removed yes i had my breast removal and my next step would be bottom surgery and so you'll get a, a a penis yeah a penis and ovary removal and all the things but it's expensive and we don't have facilities in pakistan Mani and Razia have decided how to live and love. To do so publicly is truly brave in a society that has such strict rules when it comes to relationships. Now, the discussion of gender fluidity is making it into the Pakistani mainstream and has reportedly received support from some surprising quarters. Alhamdulillah, hamari tanzeem ka naam Praise God, we are the Tanzeem Ittehadul Ummat Pakistan. We formed the group because our society is in need of unity. Maulana Zia ul Haq Naqshbandi is from the Organization for the Unity of Muslims. He was one of the senior imams who recently endorsed a fatwa declaring that Islam guarantees their gender rights, a seemingly progressive and liberal take. The fatwa made him an unlikely but very willing star. Ji alhamdulillah jab ye hamara fatwa samne aaya praise god when i made my fatwa i had the media of 24 countries contact me. Over 2 million people have watched my video. The Times of India, the Hindu Times, New York Times, the world's best media printed the story. The edict declares that Khawaja Sadars have the right to get married and was picked up internationally. as an endorsement of marriage equality i asked the imam how he reached his conclusion cheezein pehle maujood thi wo arbi aur farsi ki kitabon mein these things were already there in arabic and persian books look islam declared that khwaja sara who has menses a small hole down there if she has menses she is a woman regardless of her body she can marry a normal man similarly Uh, the khwaja sara that is a man whatever the size of his penis as long as there is discharge and he can have sex he can marry a normal woman but the khwaja sara who is uh, neither man or woman who doesn't have menses or discharge that kind of khwaja sara is forbidden to marry anyone kisi se bhi shaadi nahi kar sakta but these fatwas in a practical sense they wouldn't help people that i've met whilst i've been in in pakistan ye mere liye nahi baat hai look this is new to me you have a right to live as you want but islam doesn't give you permission to live like that it's not in islam if you are a man you should live your life as a man god has given you a mouth to eat what if a man says i want to eat from behind it can't happen i appeal to those brothers it's okay whatever it is but islam does not give you permission islam iski ijazat nahi deta the imam clearly has some good intention but it's difficult to think of a practical application of his decree i can't really see how it helps anyone the ruling was reported on in the english language press as pakistani cleric declares transgender marriages legal under islamic law that's the reuters headline i read it on my way here and once again that might make a sexy tagline but it just doesn't do justice to the complexities of gender and how it's understood in pakistan i think the transgender identity is a fairly new identity um when our work first started back in 2010 we would talk to people to khwaja saras and they would not identify themselves as transgender qasim iqbal coordinates research for the naz project in pakistan He believes the term transgender falls short of adequately describing the range of gender identities that exist here. The older ones they want to remain the third gender because culturally that's what Khwaja Saras have been. But the newer generation when they say they are a transgender they are actually referring to the transgender that the west acknowledges. 
Do you think one of the reasons there's a tension there is because the transgender identity perhaps threatens the systems that exist within the Khawaja Sera third gender community? Khawaja Sera culture is something that has been passed down from generation to generation to generation. I mean, they actually have a lineage that you can trace back to the Mughal eras. The transgender women, some of them would like the option of breaking away from that control of a guru. A lot of the modern transgender ones are wearing Daisy Duke shorts, tube tops, and they're breaking away from that tradition. Is, is that a shame, though? Because when you said that, I saw you kind of wince a little bit. Are you wincing because it might die out? I think the Guru Chela system, the Khwajasara system, is very important for the survival of any trans woman in Pakistan because it gives them an umbrella of protection. In its 70th year of independence, the discourse around gender fluidity in Pakistan is more complicated than it's ever been before. In many ways, this nation is years ahead of Europe, acknowledging and sometimes celebrating a third gender as part of its established history and future. But the ability to choose gender outside of the established third gender system remains elusive and is almost exclusively the preserve of the privileged. At the time of broadcast, Mani is still trying to raise money for his gender realignment and is yet to reconnect with his father. Bindia is working with an NGO on Khawaja Sera rights, and Gami is working on her first feature film. She wants to be recognised as a trans icon across the world. That's all from this edition of the programme. I'm Mubin Azar. To hear more from the series, go to bbcworldservice.com slash assignment. Thank you for listening. The programme editor is Bridget Harney and it was cut by Shabnam Gruel and Neil Churchill at New Broadcasting House. Thanks also to Khalid Wasim, who's my location manager. He's always on hand for my adventures in Pakistan. If you enjoyed the documentary, you might also like other programmes I've made in the region especially Inside Gay Pakistan, which you can download now from the BBC website.